another episode on the Chaos Craft server and today we are going to try our best to finish off our train tunnel because I want to eventually have like a whole underground system um, with my train track especially with all of our houses being close together I thought it would be kind of cool to build mine all the way up to my house and then eventually for it to branch out to Box's place and Jamesy's place um, once everyone gets their like train station up and going and stuff so um, let's finish off ours first before we start working on any other crazy project so I've done this long straight bit here I've got a lot of supplies with me already hopefully it's enough but you guys know me I probably will run out within five minutes so we're just gonna continue on the pattern I wasn't sure what to do for this corner bit because I was like oh you know I thought I had it all down until I realized I didn't so let me get my cobblestone and what I was gonna do here is just kind of create like a little corner and just connect it all with some cobblestone stairs so kind of have it wrap around both so it kind of looks more unified and it doesn't look like a huge break in in the pattern um gosh look at me talking about this all fans lovely okay let me put this back up oh my gosh there we go perfect and as tempted as i am to still open my presence on the cash craft server i must resist the urge and wait until christmas day so i will do it on sunday this is the part where i'm a little bit confused because we need to create oh is that right no i think we've got to move all this back one yeah, see, this is why I need to do this stuff with you guys, because I always get confused. So everything was right, it's just that this um, stone slab here needs to be moved over just one more. Are you serious? I just realized my, um, my axe broke. Poopsicles. Okay, here we go. This is what we wanted to do. And the stairs need to go back one more. So that's where I was getting confused with the pattern, but... I think we've got it. So we're going to take this down. This goes here like that. And that continues on. And then these stairs are supposed to go back one. Now I understand. Okay. We're good now. A silk touch pick would have been amazing right now. I might try to borrow one from someone or try to enchant one myself. But uh, I just don't want to die and like get all my levels and then die because that would be terrible so that's going to be the stone wall we're going to put the stairs there and we should be good to go after that but i need to figure out this part here so they are normally three wide so one two three and we're supposed to start another cobblestone pillar here and then we'll have one here oh and here okay we've got it so that's what they're gonna look like so we just got to fit it in so that we know what it's gonna look like so let me go ahead and do this quickly all right so the corner is all done and it just worked out perfectly i like the way it looks as well so um while we're building this i will catch you guys up and give you guys a little update on what's been going on so first it is the 21st and we are finally officially done christmas shopping i think we did a lot better than last year i think last year the day before christmas eve so the 23rd we were still trying to get a few people some christmas presents so um it's it's a lot better but with all the christmas shopping it's gotten like time has gone by so so fast it's crazy it's like the year itself went by fast but this, these last couple of weeks have gone by even faster. One of the reasons why um, we came back to England so soon this year is because we always feel like as soon as I get here, it's Christmas and then I have to go back to America and it just feels so rushed. But I haven't really noticed the difference because we've been so busy and it's like we go shopping and then we come back, I've got to do videos and stuff. It's just making the time fly so, so quick. And I do kind of want to do like a year recap but I'm gonna wait until next Wednesday, Wednesday to do that to kind of like just go over the years what happened the exciting stuff all of that um, and it should it should be really good and I did speak to my mom today um, 
because I wanted to know if she's gotten all her Christmas shopping done and she's been really busy with work as well. So she literally is just starting her Christmas shopping. She gave Ricky and I our gifts before we left, but for everybody else, she was like, oh my gosh, it's Christmas this week. I better hurry up. But she's been figuring out how to do stuff by herself and she's becoming a lot more independent. I was talking to her today. She's like, oh yeah, you know, I've got some Christmas shopping to do and stuff and then she was telling me about how she ordered herself an Uber which for most people was just like okay you ordered an Uber big deal but my mom is like infamous for never ever like trying to do any kind of technology stuff by herself so she called me and she was like so proud of herself she's like yeah I ordered an uber my, by myself and then that day she also sent me a picture on whatsapp and I was like mom because usually whenever she sends me anything on like whatsapp I always assume my sister sent it to me for her and she's like no no I did that by myself she's like I also called the cable company and I fixed this I was like oh my gosh and she's like well yeah you're gonna be moving to England so I've got to learn how to do this stuff by myself and um I was I'm proud of her though because I think sometimes with parents they're so used to having their kids around and maybe some of you guys could relate they're so used to having their kids around that it's kind of just easier for them to be like and not in a negative way but it's easier for them to be just be like hey can you do this for me can you do that for me but um i'm proud of her i think it's a good thing that uh that she's she's doing that for herself even my sister was like yeah i can't believe mom's doing it by herself i was so proud of her i told her it's like <laughs> it's like it's, it was almost like you know when a parent uh finds out their kid just passed their driving test it was like that except it was she just ordered an uber by herself it was really good <laughs> anyway i forgot to mention I actually found this spawner while I was digging out this place and it was a um, skeleton which is perfect because we could make bone blocks and now that Jane C has decided that he doesn't want to share he's no more I'm just kidding he's he's starting to do his business it's kind of good for us to have some because maybe we can sell our bones to him so that he could sell it at his shop for more money so we've got a disc in there we've got some iron um horse armor and another music disc and you could see some people strip mines and stuff around here so we have quite a way to go so let's see how much more we could do we don't have any more um spruce logs so i might run back home and try to get some more of those because oh my gosh also um i am going to be in england until january oh my gosh oh that scared the poop out of me i'm gonna be here till january 8th and i know walking dead season three came out and a lot of you guys really really wanted me to play it and you guys know i love the walking dead but i just thought it would be better for me to wait till i get back to america that way i could do like face cam on it and stuff and um i could do it like one episode after another and I think it'll just be a lot better that way. So I am going to be playing The Walking Dead. I am super, super excited. If you've already played it or you've watched someone play it, don't give any spoilers. But are you guys excited for it? I feel like it's been so long that people almost forgot that The Walking Dead game existed. But hopefully the long wait meant that they were doing a really good job with the game uh hopefully they have some clementine i haven't watched any trailers to be honest and i am someone i know a lot of people are different when it comes to this stuff but i am someone that likes to just jump into a game without knowing anything about it and i know most people don't like that and it's probably not good when a youtuber does that because no nobody wants to watch someone that doesn't know how to play a game but i like it i think it's better to kind of like learn with you guys or you guys to teach me i guess i should say um well, I like doing it that way. Why is this? Oh, it is lining up. Okay, good. So let's continue this all the way around like this. Perfect. So I'm going to... Oh, also, I completely forgot to mention this. How could I forget? So Ricky and I were at Tesco's one day. And I did tweet out about this. So we were at Tesco's. Um, It was probably about a couple of weeks ago. And if you guys watch Ellen, you guys will know who Sophia Grace is. It was that little girl that sang the Nicki Minaj song with her cousin. And we were we were at Tesco's and I think we were looking in the toy section because we're planning to buy this specific toy. And we thought, oh, maybe they'll have it here. So we went to go check. And while we were there, I saw this little girl and I was like, 
she kind of looks familiar. But you know when you see somebody and you think, ah, I, I kind of, that face looks familiar. But you don't think anything of it. You're like, eh, whatever. Uh, I don't really know that person. So you just keep walking. That's what I did. I just kept minding my own business, looking around. And then as we kept on walking, they were kind of like walking in front of us. And I got a better look at her. And I was like, I think that's Sophia Grace. And right at that moment, Ricky looked at me. And, and I was like, he's going to say that's Sophia Grace. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. And I had like a, a little fangirl moment. But the first thing I noticed is she's so small. Like, uh, like and I'm not saying she ever looked really tall on camera. But it's just like. She's so much smaller than you would think. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah, we saw her. She, I think she was with her mom. And I want to say she was with her little sister. But I'm not sure. But I know her mom was there and stuff. She was just on her phone. But it's so weird seeing like, you know, famous people or celebrities out in public. I could never approach them. Like even if it was my idol, like let's say, because when I was growing up, I loved Ryan Gosling because I watched The Notebook and I loved The Notebook. I think every girl did. And uh, even if I would have saw him out like at the store or something, there is no way in a million years I could ever go up to him. And I, I get why people do it because he must be really excited and stuff. But I just can't. I am. I would get. It's beyond just shyness. It's just awkward because when you see them out in public they're so normal and and i don't mean that in a negative way i mean just like they just seem like us you know they're not they're nothing special they're just normal people doing their grocery shopping or traveling or whatever it might be but if you would if you are someone that like would go up to them what gets you over the shyness or are you like me where you just you there's no way you could like let's say you love justin bieber would you go up to him or would you just stare fondly at him i probably would just like not justin bieber but i'd probably just stare and be like oh my gosh did you just see that person it's kind of like when i saw patrick dempsey from because you guys know i love Grey's anatomy that's how i was like oh my gosh that's patrick dempsey Oh my gosh, my luggage isn't coming out. It's taking forever. I hope it's not lost. But that's Patrick Dempsey right there. And he's with his wife. Oh my gosh. And I was just like, I think Patrick Dempsey just looked at me. And that made my whole entire day. And it made the 10 hour flight worth it. Also, the fact that I got to see Ricky afterwards, of course. But I, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just weird like that, I guess. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't. Like, I, I know a lot of you guys have said, like, oh, if I saw you in public, I would say hi to you. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't do it. I think it would be awesome. But I don't think I could. I just couldn't. Like, even when I went to this YouTube thing event, I saw, um, I think it was Mystery Guitar Man. And I've seen a few other YouTubers. But I just, I couldn't make contact. And that's probably why I never go to any of, like, youtube events or anything because i probably would be awkward and just to not do it because i i don't know if i've ever mentioned it my, my network on youtube always invites me to do like these little live streams with other youtubers and stuff and i at first they used to ask me all the time but it got to the point where i kept saying no all the time that they stopped asking me because i just can't i just can't get over it and i know people would say it's bad because it's like oh you're passing up a good opportunity to like collab with people and stuff but i don't know it's just not me and i can't force myself to do something that i don't that i don't feel comfortable doing so i just like hmm, i think i'll pass i think uh, i'll sit this one out you know <laughs> at first I, I would come up with excuses i'd be like um you know i just got back from england so i can't or oh i'm getting ready to go to england so i can't it was always just something and eventually i was just like you know what Whenever I could do it, I'll let you know. <laughs> Never. Uh, I don't know what is up with this episode. We're just all over the place talking about everything. But I like doing that sometimes, just chit-chatting. Also, I did want to say quickly um, that, I don't even know how long this episode's been so far, that if you did order any merchandise, it should be getting shipped out. Because I ordered a mug because I wanted one of my mugs. And uh, I had to pay for it just like everybody else. Um, and I got an email a few days ago saying that I would receive it on, the, on December 23rd to the 26th. So I'm assuming some people are going to get it before Christmas. Um, I'm not sure if everyone is going to. I know you could have got rush delivery to guarantee that you got it for Christmas. But I'm not sure if everybody did. Um, I think it did go really well. 
I, it, it did better than I expected it to. I didn't give a lot of notice that I was doing the merchandise and I didn't have it up for a very long time. I think I had it up for a little over a week. So it did quite well and stuff and it was nice for you guys like to get your feedback on it and stuff. I know some people were saying they kind of wanted more, not, not in an insulting way, they wanted more like boyish things which i understood i know some guys don't want to walk around with like a pink remote control or like game control on their shirt and stuff so i i understood that um so i think if i ever do do something like that i think i'll add something that's maybe more um gender neutral or i maybe have different variations of things i think that'll be good but if you guys have any ideas, feel free. I kind of wanted to do like an MCA one. I think that would be kind of cool. Like if I ever end the series to kind of have like a season finale shirt or something, that would be kind of nice. Um, but yeah, if you did get one, awesome. Don't forget to send me a picture so I could feature you at the end of MCA. I still can't believe people actually bought it. Like that is amazing to me. Um, and I can't wait to see people wearing their side Let's Play shirts. I think that's so, so cool. And uh, like I said, I didn't expect anyone to buy one besides my mom. So I was like, oh my gosh, people actually liked it. That's great. I love it. I love how supportive you guys are. Anyway, you guys, let me know um, if you're excited for Christmas. Do you feel like this Christmas is going by so fast? Can you believe it's already another Christmas year? Are you excited for Christmas? I know Ricky would say he's a bit like meh it's not that he's not looking forward to it he just doesn't feel like christmas this year um so let me know how you feel i, I kind of feel the same way but i love christmas so much that i'm like come on let's get in the christmas spirit so yeah so let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat episode if you didn't i'm sorry <laughs> and don't forget that we will be doing a shout out on sunday i hope you guys had fun watching if you did make sure to like comment and share and i will see you guys next time bye